So in a second we're going to create our coin, shift A, mesh, and then we choose cylinder, tab key to enter edit mode, scale by 0.5, and move it up, scale on the Z by 0.1. Next we're going to select the upper and bottom face on face selection, I for inset, then right click, extrude face along normals, move them down. Here we Alt Shift click the edge loops, all four of them. Control B to bevel them, just a little bit, one segment only. We move the coin down just to fit it on the ground plane, like this. Here we're splitting the screen, we open the shade editor. Click on new, type in a name for the gold. Type in base color A4691E. Then we increase the metallic to one. And for the roughness, we're going to connect notes so we are going to press shift a add a color ramp then again shift a and here we type in noise for noise texture select both nodes then we press f to connect them here we change the scale value to minus 5 the detail to 15 the roughness to 1 and we connect the color of the color ramp to the roughness of the principled psdf we position the first black slider to 0.3, about 0.3, and here we type in 676767. For this one we position it on 0.6, about. Then we type in 919191. So this material is, is now done. We have to add another one, so we click on the plus icon inside the material editor, material tab. Here we clicked on the make new material from the other one. We change the name to gold 2. Here we click on the base color and change the color to A1580Z. Just a little bit more orangey and a little bit darker. And here we select the upper face and assign the second gold material. And here we just will just change some the scale value to plus five and the chain we change the position of the left slider to point to about point five. So here we are closing our shader editor. Next we are going to place a text, shift A, then control A to select all, shift four to create our dollar symbol. We change the alignment to center for horizontal, vertical, middle. Here we just increase the extrude a little bit to 0.02 We move. Then the size we reduce to 0.75. And we just increase the depth a little bit to 0.01. We move the dollar symbol just a little bit more down. Here we go to the material tab, choose gold one. And next we're going to right click, convert to mesh. And now we can join the coin with the dollar symbol. So we, we click on the symbol and then we press control J to join both objects. Now we're going to duplicate. Under Shift D, we also could have done Alt D to create a link duplicate so that this wouldn't. So every so now every coin is unique. With a link duplicate, we would have achieved just an instance, and that means that we, when we change one coin, the others would change as well. You just duplicating the coin stacks and again with shift D we could have done alt plus D 
And here we're just going to delete some coins to create a more natural and realistic stack of coins. A more organic look of coins. Let me move the left stack a little bit more to the middle. Let me select the right one as well. Deselect the background plane. G and Shift Z to constrain the movement just on the Y and X. And here just moving one single coins just to add an overall more realistic look to our scene. And now we're going to work with the lights. It's always useful to work on the top view by pressing 7 on the numpad just to see where exactly our light is above the coins, like this. Move it down, G, then Z. And finally we're going to duplicate one point light. We will change the light type to Sun. On this one, so we reduce the power to 3, then we change the sun, reset the rotation by pressing Alt plus R, like this, then we open the properties panel with N, and here we change the rotation for the X value to minus 60. So this was it for this video, pretty easy one, at least for the modeling, a pretty basic beginner tutorial. And for the materials, also pretty easy, but the overall result, I think it's acceptable. And I'll leave you with the final render. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.